On Thursday, the U.S. weekly jobless claims jumped back above 1 million, but employment in Canada increased in July. The ECB signaled September to be a key month to read the economy, and we found out that the Swiss trade recovered in July 2020. Welcome to the TickMill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. Uh, Friday, we'll be eyeing PMI numbers from Germany, Euro area, the UK, and the US. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie yen pair, which is still struggling to break above the 76.60 resistance level and appears to have lost bullish momentum. With that, we could expect another visit of the support level at 74 in the medium term. Will you be trading the Aussie yen pair anytime soon? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves the risk of loss, and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.